let's find out all the changes that have been happening in Nutshell 8th version. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipek with Paperless X, a channel that is dedicated to helping you find the best digital solutions for your business, education, creativity, productivity, and lifestyle. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Version 8.0 introduced vertical scrolling to not shelf. We had been waiting a long time for this. To change the scrolling direction, go to your settings and then to scroll. On the right side, when your pages are zoomed out, you get a fast scrolling bar to navigate through your documents faster. It navigates through pages instead of sections. There's a gap between your pages and your handwriting can't overlap between pages. Your lasso tool also can't move items across your pages. You have to cut and paste your notes between your pages. It's always uncomfortable when that's the case, so let's hope our developers can fix this in the future. Our not sure if developers have continued to improve the handwriting experience in the application. The lag we used to experience when handwriting our notes in the application sometimes has virtually disappeared over the last couple of months. We hope they have finally managed to permanently fix this handwriting lagging bug. Let us know if you're still experiencing it in NoteShelf. You can now restore pages you delete from your notes. Most applications can restore notebooks you delete, but not so much individual pages. In NoteShelf, you can restore your deleted pages, which is awesome. Version 8.1 came in September 2020. They added the ability to rotate handwritten notes using the lasso tool. You can rotate your notes without resizing them. It's always best to rotate and resize independently. They also added Unsplash to the app for stock images. It is awesome that we can access stock images without leaving the application. We can now long press our documents on the shelf to preview what they look like. This is useful, especially when you have similar looking notebooks in the application. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to create notebooks without covers so we can at least see the first pages of our notes on the shelf. In December 2020, they added the 2021 digital planners and we went through them a few months ago. We will have a link to that video in the description down below. We launched a PC channel for desktop app reviews. We recently just reviewed an app that lets you highlight and annotate text from websites. If you're interested, make sure you go check it out and subscribe to the channel to discover more useful desktop digital tools to boost your productivity. In January 2021, we got the 8.2 version update. This one was exciting. Notshelf replaced its fixed pen sizes with a pen slider that lets you get all the thicknesses in between your fixed sizes. You can still get the fixed sizes on the slider, so they've kept their old users happy. This makes Notshelf the first note-taking app to support both fixed and variable pen sizes. They have also improved the color palette. Its scrolling is now paged, which gives it a modern look. Your favorite toolbar is now smaller and mobile, maybe a bit too small. You can turn it on and off and move it around the page to the four edges of your screen. You can easily customize your favorite tools and even delete them. Notshelf improved their pen tool customization options to make them modern and user-friendly. They are easy to use and quite intuitive. We are currently on version 8.3 of Notshelf. We got its first version in February this year. We can now create quick notes in one tap, but this pumpkin yellow page color though, it makes my eyes hurt. Since there's no way to set our default paper template for quick notes, our developers need to pick a more neutral page color, white, beige maybe. The lines on the page are difficult to see. Staring at this template for 10 minutes is either going to frustrate you or give you a headache, if not both. You can now manually sort your notebooks on the shelf, simply drag and drop them to their new folder. This is a faster way to organize notes and we like it. We also got more options for our grouped documents on the shelf. Before we could only open or rename our groups, we can now also open a new window, duplicate, move, share and move to trash. On the 24th of March, which is about a day ago, we got another update, not shelf 8.3.3 which brought us support to backup our notes to WebDAV. For those of you guys that are concerned about your privacy and do not like using the popular cloud services like Dropbox, you can now use WebDAV in Notshell, which is awesome. 
Strokes will appear in real time when working on the same notebook in split view. Your strokes are appearing a bit quicker, but we wouldn't say in real time. They made improvements to the zoom feature for better clarity. And that frankly doesn't mean anything. Or maybe it's just that we can't see any visible changes to appreciate the update. The last update we got lets us swipe our favorite toolbar up and down to hide it or show it. No matter what we tried, it's not working with the finger or apple pencil. It's probably a bug. Let us know if you've already found out how this thing works. Otherwise, we'll probably have to rope in our developers on this. Not sure if developers have been busy improving the app and we love the updates. Are there any changes that will make you start using Not Shelf? Let us know. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.